We're talking some of the leading riders here at Liverpool International Horse Show and six Whitakers here. I'm delighted to be joined by William Whitaker. We're previewing tonight's Equestrian.com Grand Prix. You got an early draw, William, tonight, your fifth to start, a new ride for you. Tell us your feelings ahead of the big class tonight. Yeah, well, the Equestrian.com Grand Prix is always a, you know, it's always a, a really testing track, a big course, with, and everyone brings their A game. So it's going to be, a, you know, it's going to be a really good class to watch um, and a difficult one to win. Now your horse, uh, Utamaro de Ecosine, he's Belgian bred, great breeding, Diamond de Semele and Quidam de Ravel, but a new ride for you. Joe Klee, I think, rode him until September. So it's a big early test for you guys. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I've not been riding him that long, really. Um, but the horse is is, is a proven is is a proven horse. He's, he's jumped at the highest level already. Um, but yeah, it's still early days w with uh, the you know my partnership with him. Um, but I mean, he's, he's jumped well in the earlier classes of this week. So yeah, yeah, we're going to uh, go into the Grand Prix with a bit of confidence. I'm delighted to talk now to Billy Toomey, Longines rank number 44 in the world, London Olympian and crucially the winner of last year's inaugural Equestrian.com Grand Prix with Diagolev. The horse you ride again tonight, Billy, must be very exciting to come back and try and defend the title. Sure, yeah, it's great to be back at this amazing show. Uh, had a great victory here last year, so um, fingers crossed he'll go well tonight. Tonight you have John Whitaker. he was second behind you last year, he's riding Ornelea again, his ride from Rio, so a big challenger there. Yeah definitely, I mean not only John, there's, there's a very, very capable field here today, very good riders, which is expected at this level of show, so it definitely won't be any giveaway this evening. And your horse is in great form, had a big win in the La Coruña Grand Prix, he won the Grand Prix in Hamburg, and also you won on another horse, the King George V at Hickstead, so you're in a Great Nick and Diagolev from those results we know is right on song. Sure, yeah, he, he brings some decent form to this event. He had a really good show in La Coruña a couple of weeks ago. So I gave him a day off yesterday, so we've tried to prepare in the right way. And, uh, you know, they're not machines, they're horses, but you hope that everything uh, falls into place, into place nicely today. I'm delighted to be joined by Michael Whitaker, five-time Olympian, five World Games and 22 World Cup finals. Michael, tonight you ride Castionato, he was your ride in Rio. He's in good form, you tuned him up in Geneva. What are your thoughts ahead of tonight to question.com Grand Prix? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very hopeful, he feels on very good form. Uh, he jumped a couple of small classes in, he's jumping very well, so uh, need a bit of luck, you know. Everyone needs a bit of luck, but hopefully, you know, he's jumping. You came here last year to the inaugural running of Liverpool and you tuned up again with a different horse but a great win in the Outlander Prize last night. Yeah, it was brilliant. The mare jumped really, really good, you know. She she was uh, she was really trying. Everything went you know, everything went right for me. Uh, all the jumps were in the right place. <laughs> Which doesn't always happen. <laughs> so I'm very happy. The Widowsons own this horse, of course, like Big Star, the Olympic champion with Nick Skelton. And I know he's a great horse, he's 12. Can you tell us a little bit about Cassianato? Yeah, he's a, he's a stallion. Uh, he's, he's got a real big jump, he's very careful. He's a little bit, uh, not, uh, he's got his own mind, you know. So, he, he, you know, you have to, you have to watch, watch what you're doing with him. But uh, at the end of the day, he's very careful, he's got a big jump, you know, and hopefully... Yeah, well. Maybe right tonight. I'm delighted to be joined by Germany's world rank number 80, Felix Hassmann. Felix, it's your first trip to Liverpool. You are the show's leading rider. You've won two classes. What's your general feeling? Uh, it's a super feeling here. My horse jumped very good. And my first time here in England is a fantastic show, yes, and I like it here very much. Now, KN, your ride tonight. You've won two Grand Prix in Hardenburg and in Ising as well. So. In good form this year. What are your hopes ahead of the Equestrian.com Grand Prix? Uh, he's in super form this year. He won two Grand Prix and placed many Grand Prix, also some four stars. Yes, and the first day he jumped super. He won the class, and yeah, I hope today he's jumping clear too. Now, riding sport is all about confidence, and with two wins this week in Liverpool, you must be very confident. Yeah, yeah I'm super happy about it. My horse jumped super. I have three horses here, two horses, one one class, and yeah, it's fantastic. 
I'm delighted to be joined by Laura Rennick, Longines number 47 in the world, but crucially the leading female rider here in Great Britain. Ahead of tonight's Equestrian.com Grand Prix. Laura, what are your feelings? Yeah, I'm riding a very inexperienced horse. Um, I've only had, this is the third show I've ridden him at. He um, went to Olympia, um, he jumped very, very well there, jumped his first 150 class uh, for four faults, but also crucially came third in the Masters there, which was a huge feat for him, so he learnt a great deal. Um, but this is his first Grand Prix, so um, I'm just hoping everything goes well. Now, you've had a very good season. You won the big Dinar Derby. You were second in the Bordeaux Grand Prix. And of course, your world ranking says it's been a good season. So, confident mood for tonight? Yeah, and I've got great faith in this horse, actually. As I say, I've only ridden him for a short time, but he gives you a really good feeling. He's got a very, very good brain and a very good attitude towards the job. Um, obviously, this is going to be the biggest thing he's ever faced, but I think he'll do it um, to the best of his ability, and I'm really, really hoping for a good result tonight. Yeah, this guy's only nine, and he's, but he's beautifully bred, heartbreaker, um, in Doctro, so very nicely bred. Yeah, I mean, he's got great breeding. And one of my very, very top horses, Beluga, who won so much with me um, over my career, she was by Heartbreaker. So I've got a bit of a soft spot for Heartbreaker horses. So um, I think that's why I'm clicking with this one quite well at the moment. Now, Laura, the atmosphere this week has already been spectacular. Tonight, we're expected to raise the Echo Arena roof. What's your feelings ahead of the Equestrian.com Grand Prix? Well, yeah, I think you just said it. I think the atmosphere in this arena is, is electric. And I think tonight it's going to be, you know, by far the most exciting of the week. But I mean, it's been a fantastic week. It's been such great atmosphere, such great spectacle. And I think all the horses and all the riders have put on a great show. And I hope tonight's going to culminate in a really, really good Grand Prix. You're a young team, but a great team. Good luck this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you.